If your CPU isn't delivering its full potential while gaming, this video is for you. In this video, I'll walk you through some powerful hidden settings that can optimize your CPU for gaming, ensuring consistent FPS, zero lag, and smoother gameplay. Let me know in the comments how much these settings have helped you. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, we're going to set up a performance tracking tool to improve CPU usage during gaming. Start by searching for Performance in Windows Search and select the Performance Monitor option from the results. Once the monitor opens, navigate to the left sidebar and expand the Data Collector Sets section by double-clicking it. Next, click on User Defined, right-click here and choose New, then Data Collector Set. A window will pop up asking for a name. Type CPU Boost in the field. After that, select Create Manually and click Next to move on. On the next screen, you'll see various options. Ensure you check the box for Performance Counter, then hit Next. Now it's time to add a counter, so click the Add button. A new window will open, showing several categories. Choose Processor from the list, and below that, you'll see Available Instances. Select the highest number listed for your system. For example, if 7 is the highest, select that number. After making your selection, click Next, then Finish to complete this part. At this stage, you should see CPU Boost added to the list, but it will be marked as Stopped. To activate it, right-click on CPU Boost and select Start. Once started, you can close the window and the performance tracker will run in the background. Alright guys, the next step is to get the CPU Optimization Pack. You'll find the download link on my website. Just check the description for all the details. You can scan this pack using any antivirus tool or website to confirm it's completely safe. Once you've downloaded it, extract the files to your desktop and open the CPU optimization folder. Inside, you'll see multiple files that need to be installed one by one. Be sure to follow the instructions properly to install each file correctly. Now navigate to the CPU priority folder. Inside, you'll find two subfolders, one for Intel processors and another for AMD processors. Choose the folder that corresponds to your CPU. If you have an Intel processor, open the Intel folder and install the provided file. AMD users should open the AMD folder and install the respective file. Now guys, install this Quick CPU tool on your PC. Once the installation of Quick CPU is completed, the software will automatically launch and you will be greeted with its user interface. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the essential steps to optimize your CPU settings for better performance, increased FPS, and reduced input lag while gaming. The first setting we need to adjust is the system power plan. Click on the drop-down menu and select Ultimate Performance. This power plan is designed to provide maximum system efficiency by ensuring your processor operates at its full potential. By selecting this, you will experience smoother gameplay, higher FPS and lower input delay, which are crucial for gaming performance. After selecting the Ultimate Performance Power Plan, scroll down to locate Core Parking. This setting determines whether some CPU cores remain idle to save power. However, for gaming and high-performance tasks, we want all CPU cores to be active at all times. Set Core Parking to 100%. This ensures that all CPU cores are fully active and ready to deliver the best performance. Set performance to 100%. This setting forces your CPU to maintain peak performance instead of throttling down. Set frequency, scaling to 100%. This keeps the CPU frequency at maximum, ensuring stable performance during intensive tasks. Set turbo boost to 100%. Turbo Boost allows the processor to exceed its base clock speed temporarily, providing additional performance when needed. Once all these settings are configured, click on the Apply button to implement the changes, then press OK to confirm. Next, navigate to the Advanced CPU settings by clicking on the respective button. In this section, we need to enable some crucial options to further enhance performance. Enable Turbo Boost. Check the box to allow your processor to automatically increase its clock speed when required. Enable Enhanced Speed Step Technology, EIST. This ensures better power management without compromising performance. After enabling these settings, 
close the window and exit Quick CPU to finalize the changes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now guys will enhance system performance by optimizing CPU resource allocation and reducing unnecessary visual effects, ensuring smoother gameplay and faster application performance. Search for Advanced System Settings in the Windows search bar and open it. Once inside, go to the Advanced tab and click on Settings under the Performance section. In the new window, switch to the Advanced tab again where you can manage how your processor allocates resources. Ensure that the setting is configured to prioritize performance for programs. If it's set to background services, it won't be optimal for tasks like gaming or streaming. By selecting programs, your system will allocate more resources to your active applications. For instance, if you're playing a game, the system will focus on maximizing the performance of that game. Now head over to the Visual Effects tab and choose Adjust for Best Performance. This will automatically disable unnecessary animations and visual effects, freeing up CPU and memory resources to improve overall system responsiveness. After applying this setting, review the list of effects to enable only the essential ones for your workflow. Some settings you may want to keep include Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing for smooth transitions. Show thumbnails instead of icons to preview images and documents in File Explorer. Smooth edges of screen fonts to maintain clear and readable text. Once you've made your selections, click Apply to save the changes, then hit OK to exit. This adjustment will enhance system performance by reducing unnecessary visual load while preserving usability and appearance. Disabling core isolation can boost CPU performance, leading to smoother gameplay and potentially higher FPS, especially on mid-range or older systems. To disable it, search for Core Isolation in the Windows search bar and click on the result. Core Isolation is a security feature that uses virtualization to protect your system from malware. While it enhances security, it also consumes system resources, which could affect gaming performance. Turning it off can free up valuable CPU power, potentially improving your FPS. However, keep in mind that disabling Core Isolation reduces your system's security. Be sure to carefully consider the trade-off between better performance and reduced protection before making this change. Alright everyone, let's tweak some system settings to maximize your CPU's performance for gaming. Start by opening Windows Search and typing System Configuration, then click on it from the results. Once the window opens, navigate to the Boot tab at the top. From here, click on Advanced Options to reveal additional settings. Inside, you'll see an option labeled Number of Processors. Check the box to enable it. Now, click the drop-down menu and select the highest number available. For example, if your system shows a maximum of 8, select 8. If it shows 4, 16 or another number, always choose the highest option to unlock the full potential of your CPU. Once you've made your selection, click OK. Next, head over to the Services tab. Start by checking the box that says Hide all Microsoft services. This ensures you don't accidentally disable any critical system services. 
After that, go through the remaining services and disable any that you don't need. Once you've made your selections, click Apply, then restart your PC. Restarting will apply the changes and further optimize your system for better performance. Now let's remove the transparency effects from elements like Windows and the taskbar, which will help further enhance your system's performance. First, go to the search bar and type Show Animations in Windows. Many people don't realize that both Windows 10 and 11 offer an option to customize animations across the system. With this feature enabled, you'll notice smooth and stylish transitions when switching between windows. However, these animations can take up valuable system resources. To improve your PC's performance, it's best to turn off this feature. Once disabled, the animations will be completely removed. Additionally, there's another setting called Show Transparency in Windows that you should also turn off. Be sure to disable both of these settings to make your PC run faster and more smoothly. And that's it guys, you've optimized your system for better gaming performance. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.